You know, when you have eight movie stars in a movie like this, you would expect that there would be some kind of drama, but I have to be honest, the drama never came. Their chemistry is amazing, both on set and off. I think they all had such a great time together, and I think it comes across in the movie. And that's something, you know, you could never, you could never plan the alchemy of that, and it has, it has been really great. There's not a bad apple in the bunch. I mean, there's one, but I'm not gonna say who it is. There's a tension between the characters, but there was none of that tension on set. Everyone was really excited to be there, and, you know, they have a healthy disrespect and respect for each other. Everyone's available to talk about the characters. Everyone's available if you have a question about how to raise your kid. Some of us were parents, struggling of where do I buy the uniform, the Halloween costume. It was a big nest, and you felt very cared for. I've gotten fashion tips from Rihanna. I've gotten, you know, the best facialist from Sandy. My goal when I said yes to doing this movie was the only thing I want is by the end of this movie, I want to know where Rihanna goes dancing. Otherwise, there's no point in me doing this movie. Citizen Four, season four. It's on HBO. When you get to the set, you see these eight amazing women and there's this incredible alchemy that's taking place between these eight creative people. Constance will do what Constance does. Let's throw deep to her out of the A, out of, sorry, out of the B. Let's throw deep to her, to Constance, OK? Thank you. Gary Ross is such a brave guy. <laughs> I really can't think of anyone else who could have done this. And you know, sometimes writers, they don't like you to improv. But he's a writer. He loves to improv. He's a director, and he cares so much about his shots. But he also is welcome to, to your input. He really just wants to make everybody feel welcome, to make everybody feel valued, to make everybody feel like they're giving the performance that they want to give, that everybody looks great. You know, some movies you make, they're like handmade. You want to get in and control every little detail. In this movie, you know, I'm kind of the dude in the room. So that's when I sort of sit back and watch this incredible energy, this electricity, this alchemy happen. You're not bored out here, are you, Tam Tam? No, no? I'm, not, I'm not bored no? out here at all. Good. No. Good, good. good. Why, why would you ask that? Because I need a fence. You know, I'm glad I did this at this point in my career when I know a little more about when to shut up on the set and sort of let things happen instead of always trying to make them happen.